Welcome back to Nostalgia Week, we cannot forget about the best Kato in video game history, which is of course the cat you play as in the legendary video game that is known as Stray. This is also the first video of 2023, so that's definitely a thing. Let's begin the game and let's, I guess, go into start a new game. I'm actually playing on PC now because I don't have PlayStation Plus thing, whatever it's called, and also I don't think I can skip cutscenes, so that's also a thing. I can meow during the cutscene though, which is great, and here we are. As what's the freaking Stanley Parable saying? Literally, well, quote unquote, played the game yesterday. If, if if the lore is that I play the game and then upload the video in the same day, I played the Stanley Parable yesterday. And as he got to his, up to his senses, what? I don't freaking know. I'm I'm completely butchering that. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. But this game, forgetting about the Stanley Parable for a minute, this also is an absolutely legendary game from. What was quite a good year, that was 2022, I'd say it was 11 twelfths of the way good, and then December decided to show itself. Then again, we had freaking high on life in December, so it's not all bad. I believe Donna like interact with all the cats and then it was there. So this is a game again that I followed right from literally like the first, like the freaking reveal trailer, the concept, literally the concept trailer art reveal thing for this game, the same as with Bee Simulator, like this and Bee Simulator were revealed about the same time and both of them I had really high hopes for, or at least back then for some reason, like back then you got let down on video games a lot less, you could have high hopes for stuff. Also this is running really well for being on like PC with ultra settings and everything, ray tracing enabled as well, so very freaking cool. Yeah, and, and also in uh, 1440p, so before we played it in 1080p because that was back when PS5 didn't actually support 1440p, so yeah, the resolution is actually there as well. Very nice looking game, but yeah, like this this and B Simulator both like completely blew me away. Like this game in particular, as, as obviously it's a lot newer than B Simulator. Very, very good game. Like I'd love either... Like the, the only thing that I was a bit ups, not upset about was like I thought it was going to be a bit more open world. But I mean still, the game is incredible. Like I've 100% of the game with all achievements on the PS5 and the PS4 version. The PS4 version isn't the greatest. It runs at like 35, 40 FPS or maybe just like 30 FPS. But it's, it's still playable. It's, it's very not too fun playing it at 30 FPS, but like still, I, I wanted to play it just have like the... Because it's annoying, obviously, when you buy a game on PS5, most of the time you get the PS4 version, so you just have that sitting there with like 0% achievements. And I think I ended up, yeah, like I liked it so much that I ended up playing the game again halfway. Like that's when I, I know, or that's when you guys and I know I really like a game. Like if I'm halfway through a series, and then I really like the game enough to like start playing the game again, not to like continue it because I don't want to ruin like the series playthrough, but I like a game so much to play it twice at the same freaking time. And that's like, yeah, again, definitely this game is in my top 5 for 2022, 100%. At least for the games that I played, obviously. I don't know why I keep mentioning for the games I played. I don't know the games I haven't played, or at least I don't know what the games I haven't played are like, because funnily enough, I haven't played them. <coughs> and here we are, now kind of the open world aspect starts. Like, I, I say it's not open world, it kind of is. But at least, like, not freaking, like, Red Dead Redemption 2 GTA 5 style open world. Like, you can't just go around and then there's... Well, actually, yeah, I mean, you kind of can go around and there's this task that you can do. But it's not, like, the open worlds that you'd expect. Should we do... Th this is, I think, is it this chapter that was annoying for getting that achievement, the, um, like, scratch in every chapter one? Yeah, it was right here. This guy kind of even, like, shows you, yeah. See so why... Is it is it the same thing? So this game actually, like, it says it's best played on controller, so I'm just playing it on controller. Yeah, that feels really weird, like, not having, like, I'm, I'm just using, like, my Xbox Elite controller. It's obviously, like, I'm playing on PC, I can't really, well, I can use my PlayStation controller, but it's not, it probably wouldn't do, like, the dual sense if you're not on, specifically, PlayStation 5. Plus, it's very annoying to hook, like, a PlayStation controller, like, even PS4, like, PS3 as well, controller to PC anyway, so I thought, let's just use the controller that I can just plug in and it works. This one as well, I had the idea of, like, an achievement for, like, drinking in every chapter, because I think you can. I'm pretty sure, didn't we do that, like, when I did the, when I was going for the achievements, if you didn't know, like, I actually streamed through this game the first time, and we streamed through 100% of it, like, all achievements, all collectibles, everything we did on the streams, and I'm pretty sure I found, like, at least one area, why can't I, there we go, one area to drink in every chapter as well, so it's weird that that's not an achievement, like, it's an, it's an achievement to scratch in every chapter, but not to drink, and it's very strange, like, I'm, I'm all for, as long as you can, like, as long as you're able to add more achievements, I'm all for more achievements, because this is more replay value at the end of the day, like, I loved title pending, like, it's a relatively short game, only, like, an hour and a half to two hours, if you do all the achievements, actually, like, it's obviously one 
where you have to play through quite a few like multiple times to actually get like obviously not the same like it's different endings and stuff or your whole day to change jumps hell yeah again it's like i just played this game freaking yesterday because i did in my head it's like oh yeah but i just played this game it just came out yesterday i'm that freaking familiar with like all the controls and everything yeah like i'm all for as i said i'm all for like more achievements and stuff because then it just means i can play a game that i really like more like if, if it's a game that i don't like and it's got loads of achievements and like the achievements are fun but the game's not then i guess it gets annoying if it's a game like straight all for more achievements can you even, like, can you have, I guess you can, yeah, because, like, Minecraft updates come out and then there's more achievements. So I guess you can, like, add more achievements as the game progresses. But, I mean, who knows? I had the idea of them doing, like, a stray 2 with a dog instead, because, like, stray is just the, the term for, like, stray cat, stray dog. It just means, like, no owner, they're just wild, basically, right? It would be really cool to have, like, a dog version. Yes, I am including this in the freaking video. This won't be cut out, because this really annoyed me the first time. Literally everyone. Everyone's freaking reaction to this was like, how are they going to start the game off with the cat really freaking hurting itself and literally limping in the first 5-10 minutes of the video? <coughs> here we go, no one's going to hear your freaking meows, mate. There is no one down here. Oh no, that's that's their meows, yeah, that's right. I was going to say, that does not sound like coming from us. It's very echoey, and plus our mouth isn't moving. Yeah, but this is pretty freaking sad. Like, we're actually really hurt, and then we just can't walk anymore. No, Kato. The game does look incredible, though, doesn't it? I mean, just because it's like 1440p, so it's 1440 minus 1080 plus in the pixel resolution density, whatever the freaking... As you can tell, I'm very, like, in with all of the tech knowledge and what exactly everything is called. I guess, like, a critique I would have of the game that I probably mentioned before is no cutscene skipping. Like, I, I despise games that don't have freaking skip cutscene, especially if you played the game before. EA is the worst for this. If I played your game already and watched all of the cutscenes, why on earth can I not skip the cutscene now? Like, that is a massive critique I have with any game. Especially with one like this, where quite a lot of cutscenes are like just take you out of the gameplay. And as I always say, like, obviously, less for when I'm recording stuff like if i'm playing a game in my spare time i hardly ever care about the story like i mean i care about the story like in gta some like most of the time the story is like you're driving around physically playing and then there's dialogue that's fine but then when it's like a two three minute cutscene it's like i didn't buy the game to watch it oh yeah i guess we can get achievements as well we can, we can start getting steam achievements i'm probably gonna refund the game because if i ever get like ps plus again then it will just be on there yeah let's see how many achievements we can get in i don't know 20 25 30 minutes of playtime however long i'm gonna pay for i wanted these to be like 20 25 minutes long like these videos especially as i'm editing them more when i get bored which with this game i could play probably i'll keep playing it until it's freaking seven in the morning like right now it's 10 minutes freaking 1 a.m because it is the first of the first 2023 today god it literally is like i played it yesterday like there we go boom done that already yeah that bit was all weird it, it really as i probably said at the time like reminded me of watch dogs like all of the glitchy fixes the hell was that it pretty really sounded like we just said, what? I did not, yeah, I did not press B for you to say freaking sound. Did, did I tell you to speak, mate? Did I say that you were allowed to meow? How dare you? You were only allowed to freaking meow when I tell you to. This one's a bit weird as well, like you just do that. Like you drop the freaking bucket and then it kind of just like goes over to it. This one as well, but this, was this an achievement? It's just something, I think it's just something you can do, right? Just knock all the pay cans down. Like I, I used to know everything about this, like literally because there is an achievement to speedrun. I kind of learned a bit of like the speedrun tech outside of streams and everything. I thought I couldn't go over there. But like I knew exactly where to look to do all like the jumps correctly. Because you can't just like do the jumps normally. You have to be like really quite precise. Oh yeah. Again like I was like wait this is one that I have to push multiple times and yeah it was. Oh yeah th this is where you have to scratch. You have to scratch here because it's the beginning of not the beginning of the chapter never mind. Oh yeah and again drink there we go. I kind of memorized where like all of, or at least like when I went into an area, I was like, okay, there's no scratch here, there's a scratch here, there's no drinking here, there's drinking here. Like I knew when I went into an area, like what was in the area there. And that that's what happens when I'm like obsessed with a game or get, like really into a game. Like I, I just remember everything. Go look at these reflections and everything, man. Jesus Christ. Like again, in my episode one, I probably like, is this episode eight now? Yeah, I think episode 7, episode 6 was the ending, then 7 we did like a going back to get the rest of the collectibles slash achievements we missed, which I, I don't think that was really... What were the collectibles? Was it just like extra... Oh no, yeah, it was the badges. Was it only the badges? Like once you get your little robot friend, you have like that 
hoodie thing that you have on, right? Like that jumper thing that you can get the physical badges from. But I didn't know how to get... I, th I thought I didn't know how to get one. But then it turned out I missed freaking three the first time. Where's this achievement? Or this, this freaking cut, this achievement, Jesus Christ, achievement's on the brain, this cutscene. Oh yeah, like the first chase scene. This one is painful, Let, let's really try and see if I can do this, come on. Depending on how into this I get and how annoyed I get if I fail, I might give this multiple times. There's an achievement to not get hit here. Do I remember the strats? It will be a bit different. God, I thought I was going to get hit immediately then. It will be a bit different not having like the, the dual sense PS5 thing. Oh god, oh okay, I failed, fair enough. I'm, I'm not gonna freaking bother going back. Maybe I can get a second try? Where is that specific bit? Yeah, right there, isn't it? Or is it here? One of the bits... You have to really do like a weird movement to make sure you don't actually get hit. I'm just spamming B anyway. Oh cool, okay, well I, I got hit twice, that's fine. It's right here, right here is really difficult to not get hit. Like it, it took me so many attempts the first time. And then weirdly enough, I think I said it in the video as well, on the PS4 I got it first try, like on, on the freaking 30 FPS version, I got it first try, like this is 60 FPS. Imagine doing this like half the freaking amount of frames per second I have right now, or first person shooter, like imagine doing it half of that and not being freaking hit there. Is it here? This is the beginning of the chapter, right? <clears throat> yeah, this is a bit freaking terrifying, I think I, I thought this was a horror game the first time, I think it is tagged as being a horror game, or at least like a horror game as in... Hello Neighbors a freaking horror game, like a family horror game. I mean, it is quite freaking like it's it's weirdly like not as in like freaking James Wan's Insidious or anything. Like it is so a bit terrifying. I don't remember what you do here, because I remember I had like a weird way I used to go. Where do you actually go here? I, I hear my voice by the way, my voice is still not the greatest. Hopefully it's alright too. I mean I've edited two of these, like I've edited both of these in the Sabbath weeks and like the Dreamlight Valley video as well. Like I've, I've made about five or six since. I've had like a bit of a cold. Hopefully one day, hopefully this year, it will be freaking better at some point. Would be nice, wouldn't it? We get back to actually having a relatively nice sounding voice. Um, oh yeah, we actually pushed down the thing now, that's right. The big plank of wood, of course. The plank of wood, the- who placed it there? Why is it even placed there? How do people get onto these- this scaffolding here? There's literally no floor to the freaking city here. Like we're literally- I mean, we're over a thousand foot up in the air. Or there's literally no floor. Or is it no- there isn't, is there, right? Because this is... Like that weird, the fake city thing, right? Like this isn't actually- none of this is real. Is the thing. Where the hell do I go from here? But it's literally like I'm playing a game for the- no, is it is up here? I didn't think it was, because I don't remember being in here. Oh no, this is when the game really looks incredible in here, right? Like this is when the first time on the PS5 I was like, wait, is this- This is actually a video game, is it? Fair enough. And it's great that we're still in current year, which is now a different current year, to, um, like we still actually have them moments. Is that right? I pushed that over there. I have no idea. Do I now... I know you can... Oh yeah, you jump on that to get to there. That's right. My first thought initially when playing it was like I needed to jump on, like, the railing thing there, or whatever that's called. Oh yeah, the camera's freaking recording our every move, brilliant. I mean, god forbid this footage ends up on freaking online anywhere. Oh, them freaking vending machines, yeah, don't even get me started about them, that freaking hidden vending machine, that was insane. Oh my god, that is, that is ridiculous. How would I have ever freaking found this? You go here, go there, oh look what it is! Oh Jesus, that actually scared the crap out of me, I forgot that happened. Where does this take place again? I completely forget, like I know it's not an English speaking, well, country, like it's not, it's not a real place obviously, but like it's... It's a, it's a fake place inside of a real place, I believe, right? Oh, this is that weird bit, right? The bit that you kind of have to go up here and then push the thing down, yeah. There was quite a few bits of the game, like, especially when you get to, like, the slums area, the slums part one and part two and stuff. Like, a bit confusing areas, especially, as I said just before. Something that I hoped to not freaking bring up again. Oh, look what it is! Yeah, this is a bit. I've just seen it straight away. Like, again, I go into an area and it's like, initially I'm like, what do I do here then? Assess the area, and then immediately my eyes just meet this freaking thing. That's another thing that I was for so long going over here, like, where do I go? I mean, this looks very obvious. Was that sign even there before? Kind of had like a freaking sense of urgency for this one then. Like, I know sometimes devs see that it's not too obvious to go somewhere, so they like, add something. Like, I know sometimes demos come out and then YouTubers are like, oh, that's not really obvious. Can you make it a bit more obvious? And then they do. I was watching a um, gameplay for a relatively old game recently. I forget what one, like, it's similar to that. Like, they played the demo and then they, and then the full release, they made it a bit more obvious. I completely forget, though. Yeah, the flat. 
So where where do we scratch though? Wasn't there there was that one chapter that had that really annoying to find scratch spot, right? Like that really small one. And I couldn't find it for literally like four playthroughs. It took me forever. Yeah, there we go. We've scratched there. Wonderful. I mean, maybe I could get the sub two hour freaking speedrun thing. I think I smashed it the first time, right? Just unintentionally. Need help. Ootsify 3 Kumra. Data corrupted. Need help. Voice m meow. Body required for download. Body required. Don't know what that one says. BLBH BSW. Enter the door. Find the body. That's it. The hell it is a horror game then. Oh, this one as well, right? I couldn't find... It's on here. Yeah, this thing. Because it doesn't look too... If you don't know what you're looking for, it doesn't look obvious at all. That's something you can actually take out. That took... That's like... A, I've got a whole freaking like 5-10 minute blooper of like me looking for that freaking thing. It was insane. There's nothing in the middle, I don't think. Oh my god, it's there. Absolutely freaking smash this. I just need to go and get this one up here. Wonderful stuff. And then again, immediately remembered I need to place them there. Was there something you could do with this? Or is this just where you get- I know this is where you get your little freaking robot friend. We stand on his head now, right? And then we need to go up there, yeah, and knock down the thing. Buddy? We have these cats that, so like, move their freaking arms up. I, I remember they're- like, someone IRL reminded me of their name recently, because I went to, like, a Chinese restaurant a few weeks ago. And I completely forget now. Here we go, of course, a little freaking robot buddy. Hell yeah. Hello, mate. Do you... B12? Is that your name? I feel like it is, yeah. B-12. Yeah, I can't remember that. Of course, and you're broken. Yeah, you're actually not dead. It worked. I'm free. Thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city. The, the dead city, that's right. And then we go to the slums after, yeah. Can't remember my name as soon as my memory is corrupted. Really? Maybe it's because I freaking punched you in the face seven times before. Not alone. Achievement unlocked. Hell yeah. Oh, Jesus. The cat knocks at the door. What did I just say? I just freaking started then. Brilliant. You can't answer the door. Come over here. Brilliant. Telling me what to freaking do now, are we? That's a bit of sun. This is where we get our little freaking jumper thing. Brilliant. Which is what I call jumpers in real life. I add the word thing at the end. Use the torchlight. This is where the horror comes into play. Oh yeah, the code. I, I again memorized this. 3748. Doesn't... 3748 doesn't sound familiar though. Maybe does it change with like depending on what you're playing on? Because I'm really playing on like Xbox now. Was it 3748? That is my memory for you today. That, did that turn green? I feel like the colours are slightly different as well, or a bit different. I mean, when you're playing through like the Elgato as well, it kind of changes. Kind of just slightly as well. Oh yeah, this bit as well. Can I still do the spinny? And the first core cool memory, or the first memory at all in the game, yeah. I remember the outside. Do you now, mate? Oh yeah, these guys are just out now as well, yeah. Like that, what are these guys called again? I... I don't know, aren't they called like the Zerg or something? Because I, or something like that, because I remember referencing Zerg from like the Toy Story franchise before. And I think that was before I saw Lightyear actually, yeah. Well, actually no, that was before Lightyear release. I think Lightyear released in like June. And then I saw it in like August or September, something like that. Maybe October, I forget. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're called like the Turg or the Zerg or something. The freaking Tar from Slime Rancher, who knows. Everyone's afraid of little freaking Kato Bunny. What are you doing? I thought you were gonna say something. Did I press something? We go to that big elevator, right? It seems like a way out. Oh, I think, yeah, I pressed the thing. Oh, no, it's down on the D-pad. Okay, fair enough. As you can tell, cut to when I freaking said, or flashback to when I said before, I know the freaking controls. I'm that freaking familiar with, like, all the controls and everything. This is when my eyes do that weird thing, right? And it only happens, like, twice in the entire game, and I was really confused. Like, I still don't really know what it was about. Like, my eyes turn completely black or blue or something, and it sometimes does it on the main menu, right? Or at least the main menu after you play the game. Like, I think you have to play the game once and then go back to the main menu and it changes a bit. Like, I like that. Games do that more now. Like, the main menu changes depending on, like, if you played the game or, like, something like that. Oh, yeah, like, your pupils or your eyes as a whole turn, like, completely white for some reason. Should we try this? See if I can get it. No? Brilliant. I want to get... I want to freaking play with the basketball, mate. I, I don't care about the story. I've already played the game. Let me play with the basketball. Cat got your tongue? Of course it does. Okay, now we can play basketball and I'd be really... Come on, man. Really? We still can't? Okay, now we can, right? All right, then. Come on. If the Rad Brad could do this first try... I can. Ooh. That might be good. God, that took me so many attempts before. Assume one a lot. Thank you. Boom chat kalaka. Fantastic. Hello, buddy. I can't buy anything from you because I am very poor. Hello, guys. So that's not a thing up there, yeah. 
I remember mentioning that, like, the clock says 9999, but then it is doing the thing where, like, the third digit flashes, as in, like, you need to change it. Or, like, you're, you're about to change it, but you haven't selected, like, the correct thing, right? Should we try and get all the cans? I feel like that would be a nice way to, like, end off the thing. See if I can remember where all the cans are. I think there's four of them, right? Or at least four of these units. I know there was something up here, actually. Oh, no, it's just one of these memories, yeah. I mean, I can help the memories, why not? Like, I remember absolutely loving, like, a, because I half, like, it's always cool half remembering where things are, but not fully. Like, it's just really fun, because you, you can, for the first time through this area, just say, okay, we'll one off all of the main missions and all of the missions, and just go around, get all of the collectibles, and then do all of the mission stuff, and that's really cool. Oh, yeah, and even, like, graze out to say exactly how many memories are in the area. No, this is exactly, like, as, as I said, like, my, really my only big fault with the game is I just wanted it to be a bit more open world. And that's not even, like, you can't even really call that a fault, to be honest. Apart from that, I mean, it's in my top five favourite games of 2022. I only played five, though. Oh, here we go, another one. Almost walked straight past this. Is this the guy that disappeared that time, right? Like, this guy completely disappears randomly? Hello, mate. I need to bring you a, like, a knitted sweater or something, right? Near 478 moles of scarves. Brilliant. Where are the 478 moles of scarves? Have you just freaking hid them? Is, is it in that little freaking bag there? We got the TARDIS bag. This is an achievement as well. I brush up against five people, right? So that's two. That's two game. I know that isn't two. That's why I'm saying that's two in that way. I know that only counts as one. Or maybe that was a bug as well. Maybe now that actually counts as brushing up against two people. Oh yeah, this guy as well. This guy is the worst character in the game. Or I guess now we, he's alright knowing that this vending machine is nothing. This vending machine is completely... It's the only vending machine in the game that doesn't actually give you a freaking can. Like, that, I hated that guy because no matter what I did, he wouldn't move from the vending machine, so I couldn't even see, like, if it was useful. I guess, yeah, we can end off the freaking episodes, hopefully, playing a good game of pool. It starts with cat things here for some reason. Oh, yeah, wasn't this one where, like, the freaking pool ball was full on the floor anyway? As they do in real pool, freaking Ronnie O'Sullivan playing pool, and then suddenly the balls just fall off the table. Then again, I, I don't think when Ronnie plays, there's a freaking cat on the table, to be fair. There might be. I've never actually watched one of his freaking matches. There could be a cat running across the table. This does again. I definitely mentioned it the first time. Oh, at least I think there's two pool tables in the game. I mentioned it both the times, guarantees. This is now the third time I'm mentioning it. But it reminds me, like, the first thing I did with Duke Nukem is we, because that's literally the first thing you do. Or, like, Duke Nukem forever, should I add, because otherwise it's even weirder. Me to say in the first year I did with Duke Nukem is we in the game, and also specifically Duke Nukem Forever, where you literally start off the game by weeing. But yeah, like I, I played hours of that freaking pool game and never got that achievement. There's a weird achievement in there that I always forget the freaking incentive to do. One day I'm going to do like a maybe this year I could do, or one year to not spoil it for current year. One year I could do like a freaking April Fools of just like me playing the Duke Nukem pool bit. And my god, I, I expected this to be done by now. I've been freaking playing for 10 minutes. Bro, I'm getting impatient now. You go in there. And I, I know I've got all the balls in. I don't think they fall off the table anyway. Like the ones that are on the... Oh no, wait. Did you fall off the table? No, you did fall off the table. Maybe I didn't actually do it correctly. Also, I like how he just like automatically sits there. Either way... That is going to be the absolute perfect time to end off day number three of Nostalgia Week. Five minutes and 39 seconds since the last checkpoint. Perfect. That is the time we end off the episode. But that, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, is going to end day number three of Nostalgia Week for the year of 2022. It's not actually 22, 20, 2022 anymore. There we go. But that does also conclude episode number eight of Stray. As usual, there'll be a link in the description of the yourself. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for our brand new, as a boy boss fanboy. That's just your course always. Peace.